Hey, oh, we so back. Did she say she got asthma? We still on our show with asthma? I got asthma. I don't speak English. Yo, speak hat to the back. That's 47 seconds walking across our screen. Can, can he get a shot? Hat to the back, friend. We'll call you 7 4. Hat to the back. Hey, we back. Episode 4. Our guest is playing her phone loud as shit. We're not going to say nothing about it. What's up, man? Yeah, what up? Oh, we on? Yeah, we on. Yo, I don't feel like I feel like uh Of course. It's my head. Sorry. Yeah. You get cut off? Anyway, bad. What's up with the targets, my nigga? I usually can't DJ without you. What's up with the targets? Oh, lateness? Oh, man. I was trying to get something to drink. Priorities. I didn't know there was a I was already depressed because LeBron uh, fucking... Fuck Brian. Fuck him and his hair follicles and his hairline. Fuck you, Polly Rob, because I know you talking some bullshit over there. Oh, Polly Rob run, won money on LeBron James today. Dickhead. You, you, you feel like you're a pimp right now? You making money off a bitch? Because <laughs> he is a business now, itch! Uh, we don't oh, like LeBron. Nigga. Hey, uh, uh, I just said this on Facebook. I just got to say it every time, too. Why, why is LeBron's uh, Drink the Sprite remix is a Shirley Temple? Because he a whole ass nigga. This whole nigga, this nigga, got, this nigga, nigga drink is cherries and Sprite. That's a, that's a Shirley <laughs> Temple, right? You bitch ass nigga. Fuck, boy! Okay, so anyway, Next year when NBA take the HGH out, he going to be small as shit. You know? Hey, you see him on the commercials where he got the little uh, uh, hair club from in now? The kid he trying to... He trying to Nigga, we know what you're doing. You know what you're you trying doing. to ease us into your nigga, hair. Nigga, you'd have had a hair Magically like being back. Hell no. You'd have had a hair like If you win the championship, you're going to come with a full... you going to have a comb on the top. he got a twist-up? Twist-up brush? you going to have locks, by the way. All right, so, so shout to my nigga. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out, shout out. Oh, shot class is official today. That's our, our, our anniversary of our fourth... Our fourth episode. Tell Chanel's in the building, taking selfies oh, and snapchat selfies. It's not coming. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't turn your mic on yet. This is our second. We're not, Sorry. We're not I'm ready talking to you yet. If you don't know what you got yourself into, you need to prepare yourself. Hey, I'm ready. I'm always prepared. Taylor Chanel's in the building. Oh, she's not on camera. Taylor Chanel's in the building. Uh, the Pantermine, Polly Rob is in the building. Yeah, Freaky Rob. Uh, we got hats to the back. Hats to the back. 47. AKA our our woman's champion. 47 seconds. AKA yeah, Back Door Diva is in the motherfucking oh, building. Oh, oh. Look at her friend like, I didn't know you was the Back Door Diva. Oh yeah, she's the Back Door Diva, friend. <laughs> oh, you knew that? Oh, you knew? You's a freaky motherfucker. Her, 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 her friend shot days in the house. You know you are. Oh, that's her name? You are who you hang with. Oh, so you oh. Back Door Oh, you the Back Door Princess. The back door Ooh, judges. The back. Whoa. It's too early. It's too early. It's too early. Okay, okay, we're gonna come. Damn. Went there too fast. Oh, too weak, man. My week was cool. What, what happened in between here and there? I almost had a heart attack when Steve, Stephen Curry hit the ground. Oh, <laughs> man, that's my nigga. I was hurt. Uh, what you know, ice-skin niggas didn't hurt fast, so. Well, ice-skin niggas do at least bruises. They bruises. That's one thing. You be sitting there arguing with a light skinned nigga, then you start getting welts. <laughs> like, like, nigga. <laughs> How many curse words do it take to make a, a light skinned nigga start bleeding? You know. My son light skinned shit, I feel bad. <laughs> he yellow as could be. Oh, yo. Nah. And my nephew, nephew, my nephew was like. He's Taylor, like, Taylor like, light skinned? He make Taylor look like a Zulu. Ooh. He looked like he was born at an Eminem concert. I don't even know how. Oh. My sister black as fuck, too, so I don't even know how that. <laughs> I'm like, that ain't your baby. <laughs> ain't Her baby daddy man. white? Her baby daddy is, uh, I would imagine he's white. I, I, I you never seen it again? Man, I got a bad history with my sister. Okay, okay. That's my sister saying. got five kids. Oh, shit. By like four niggas or something like that. So, already, oh, shit. I don't have no, you know, like, I was done being cool with the second one. You feel what I'm saying? So, that's fucked up. I'm going to real shit. Uh, we don't, we don't we don't really be talking about real shit. I can't wait to get uh, Taylor Chanel is like, oh my God. I don't fuck with Polly Rob after this. <laughs> Sorry, anyway. Polly Rob plugged this, but she on the show, so that's all that matter. She's here. You getting drunk today, bro? Yeah. This nigga this had him on me again. Oh my God. <laughs> this it ain't that type of show, dude. Hey. First of all, we have an open mic, and he doesn't want to use it. Dickhead. Dude, it's five. First of all, nobody cares if we hear your voice in the back. Hatch to the back. 
Had to bet. How you doing? Good, how are you? You feel what I'm saying? Normal people shit. <laughs> Remember people talk back when you this talk to him. This nigga want to be a mom. In a situation like You know what? He, he think he cool. He got lined up and shit, so. Look at this nigga. He got lined up. Got his face shaved and shit. He, he a low-key light skin nigga today. Hey, oh, no. When you got long hair, you you default light skin. Oh, shit. If you got braids, you a default light skin. You a default light skin nigga, Rob. How you feel about that? We can't really go into the light skin, dark skin conversation with one light skin person in the room. Right. Rob think he light skin, but you more fluorescent brown ish. <laughs> you ain't nowhere official. <laughs> you chocolate Swisher brown ass nigga. Swisher brown. Oh, Swisher we did, brown. did we? Did we? No, that was the other crew. We was named Swisher Brown Strawberry. Yeah, Code Red is like a strawberry yeah, Swisher yeah, color. Red, strawberry yeah. Swisher. So what did we name her? That's She like them raw papers. She is raw papers. Yeah. Or no, like the clear papers. Cause they not really clear, but they, they kind of goldish. Taylor Chanel clear we, papers. We gotta get past. Yeah, we gotta get past acting like we about to do a bit introduction. Taylor Chanel. Hey. Uh, let So now let's just move on to this because she here. She more interested in what we talking about. Yeah, Rob. What up? Can we Taylor get her in? in the building? Can we get? Can we, can we can get, we get her Taylor in? some? You're not talking and you ain't paying attention. And she got glasses on. You just she you highly book. Hi, Taylor Chanel. Hi, Taylor Chanel. Welcome to our show. Hey, how y'all doing? You all dressed for the situation. Yeah, because we are main shit, really. It is what it is. I ain't never Hollywood, though. Oh, okay. Hey, okay. We hope you ain't Hollywood, because you're in Inglewood. So. That part. Right, right, right. right. Never Hollywood. Yeah. L.A. and Hollywood is two different places. Where, where are you from? Mid-City, L.A. Let's see. Okay, hold on. Let's see. I got... Even, he don't even know this. Stop. 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 Okay, Stop. Cool, Stop. cool, cool. See, you got to give an official answer, because let me tell you, last night I posted... <laughs> like, and like, midnight, I posted like the flyer, the one with you on it, right? Uh huh. And uh, one of the most hood niggas I like, old school hood niggas too, like a G, my homie, like one of my homies, G homies, Big Red. This nigga hit me up on Facebook. First of all, you don't even be knowing these niggas got Facebook. Right. They just be watching. These niggas don't and post, like, they just watch your page. Yeah, he like, <laughs> he like, uh, 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 he like, that's my homie, dog. I'm like, oh, fuck, what the fuck are we getting? What the fuck do we get ourselves into? You said Big Ridge? Yeah, you know Big Ridge? I know who you're talking about. You know Big Ridge? Big, he kind of he he light-skinned. He kind of light-skinned. Kind of. Not, not he lighter too. than all of us, but I'm... Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, he not my color, but... He, he like light swisher brown. Okay. Right, right, right. He swisher diet. Yeah, I, I've been on Big he like Ridge a, since I was a kid. He, 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 like, vanilla, he, like, he like, a, like a vanilla black and mild. You know what? Sugar-free, sugar-free black and mild. That's no, I've been knowing Big Red since I was a kid. That's, yeah. that's uncle. Yeah. Oh, that's your uncle. Yeah. Oh, so you know Big Red. You know y'all, because you know motherfuckers be like, oh, I know her, but yeah. y'all do y'all know each other, or you right. don't know or her. He used to write, um, he used to, I grew up with these two dudes that were like rappers. Mm -hmm. And I used to actually, before I was singing, I used to be their background dancers, and he actually used to help them like write their lyrics and stuff. Oh, so, he was j Lo crew. So he, um, yeah, Big Red. Wait, wait, no, wait. Tell me, Big Red is fan. Tell me some, wait. Tell me a Big Red. Wait. Tell me, put me up on some shit with Big Red. What? Big Red is fan. Uh -huh. I mean, I, I, I used to dance for these two dudes that were a group. They were rappers. Um, I'm not sure Rap where. Dick. I'm not sure if they're still doing music now, but I hope they are. They uh -huh. And uh, Big Red used to work with them. You know, they were okay. like his okay. artists for the most part. We just worked on uh, uh, on this. Uh, you know, he writes for a lot of comedians. Who Ratchet does? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. And then uh, we just he just wrote this thing called uh, Judge Ratchet. Mm -hmm. Judge I haven't Ratchet. talked to Judge Ratchet. It's funny. It's, funny it's been a few years since I've talked to him. He got so. some shit going. I went over there. It was uh, uh, I wrote. I helped write some of it, but he wrote. Obviously, he wrote the line share of that. But Judge Ratchet has the comedian Tiffany Ashton in it. It has Slink Johnson, you know, Black Jesus dude. It's funny. It's like a ratchet ass court, but you know, what you like? You go on in that court. I was joking. You deserve to be in that court. Our, our, our social media girl on the other well, side. Who the fuck is on our social media? The silent Bob. Silent Bob. Look, see. She called you Silent Bob. Mm -hmm. Silent Bob. You can go back to okay, social hey, media. Silent Rob. Just, I go back silent Rob. Don't. Like, yeah. So okay. So no, no, no. You could. You could. She's she's doing blood services. She blood services. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to make sure. So, okay, so back to you, she's like, hold on. She like, listen, uh, you ain't got to be politically correct with us. We ain't nah. shit. Right. keep telling you. So, that. you know, this show is just studio talk. Yeah, we ain't. And, it's and, all good. And, uh, and, and debauchery. 
to buy yeah, it's a lot of drinking. Well, she's like, <laughs> the debauchery part, I don't want to hear that. Are you secretly doing drink shit? Rob, ain't, he ain't said a fucking word, he just... But he's getting it done, though, that's... That's weird to me. Yo. Fuck, man. You gotta hire a producer. <laughs> that's just fucking weird. I'm gonna hire a fucking producer, dude. I'm not cool. Keep with this giving shit. him drinks and it make him start talking. Yeah, maybe he might talk. Keep beating this nigga drinks. Sorry, uh, Taylor. Um, you can take that thing off. Oh yeah. Nah, nah. Show it, shit. Ah. Mm-hmm. I just, I, it's, it's a little high. She don't want to show her light skin in this. No. You got a nigga name tattoo on your zone? I have no tats. A hundred. You don't have no tattoo? You got a hundred and sixteen percent. I won't be putting a man's right? name tag on me. A hundred and ten percent Daryl. Daryl. I have no tats. Wait, no, that's... Luis. You got tats? You don't have no tats? I have zero tats. You got tats? Everybody else in here got tattoos, right? I know Sade. Your name's Sade, so you got yeah, a Sade. name or a nigga name. You got a Sade, do you got a nigga name on you? You got a name. No, on I don't. You. you don't have no name. Yes, I have unique. Yeah, we do. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> that's me. All right. Right. Oh, you unique? Oh, you're yeah. unique. Is unique spelled correct? Yes, you and I can unique. Oh, you can spell it fast. It's just about the guys. Okay. She's been practicing that. It's really <laughs> fucked up, but whatever. Is it in Chinese? No. Plain English. Uh, okay, okay. Anyway, so what, what were you saying now? <laughs> uh, I forgot. Oh, I played your record earlier. I really like that record. Thank you. Now, I, I, I was surprised. Wait, what, what, what was the name of it? That was uh, R. Kelly. That was an R. Kelly song, right? It's called We Don't Need. R. Kelly on repeat. Okay, so did you say we Wait, 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 wait. Did you just... Did, did, okay, because, all right, we getting in, We don't even talk about people's music, first yeah, of all. That's yeah, what we, we don't do promos. normally. We don't do promo. But we about to talk about your shit, because did you just say we don't need no magnums in yeah, the song? Yeah, did you? Yeah. No, no. Are you a bareback queen? No, is never. This, is this pull-out music? <laughs> no, no. That's what you should name your take. Pull-out music. I'm about to scream. Pull-out and blast. <laughs> scream and shit. No. I said, but a magnum we're going to need. So what if the nigga don't fit a magnet? Well, then he gotta magnet? go. Then he gotta go. It's protection over here. Wait, if he can't oh, so fit one, that ain't about that's preference, not protection. Then we then ain't nothing happening. So you safe? He's gonna use a magnum or he gotta go. <laughs> he ain't my husband. We ain't finna have no baby. It's a magnum. I mean, you're you you not listening to the all, uh, the undertone of it. She's right. not just saying he got to use a condom. He has to use a man. He got to fit a certain size condom. So he can't bring no condom to the dough. He got to be wearing a Lisa Magna. What oh. if he got just a blue pack? Yeah, what if he got a blue pack? He can't even can't slide in? Put the tip in? I don't know. I don't oh, I got a question. Not. Okay, let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. And this, you go Yeah, you coming it. next. Yeah. Oh. So, are, is there like a color package pre- like prejudice with women? Like when you see a dude, right? We gonna talk some real shit. I plead the fifth. You fuck with a dude, nah, and he pull out shit. he pull out the light blue pack. What is the other one? The light blue pack. I don't know. It's thin and it's ribbed. I plead the fifth. No don't be safe on this would fucking you show. Feel, we would, invite you here would for you this shit. Would you have a feeling about it? Would you feel like 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 uh okay? Uh, uh, I mean, I don't. And would you be less enthusiastic? As long as we protect it. It could be any size. It could be any size as long as you protect it. First of all, your views is going up. Uh, like, little dick niggas is like, whoa! No, we get a light skin girl. We get a little too personal. This is a personal show. show. We get to know we, you. We care about your music, but we try to get to know you. We, 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 especially with the type of music you make, people want to know you outside of the music. Yeah, you just they want to know if you I really make free. type of music. That ain't that's honestly that was my first baby maker song I've ever made. I used to make like love songs, you know. Love you made songs a song about beating up. Not all you, were, you made a song about beating up another woman though too, right? No, I didn't make. I would never make up a song about that. What is a what is a song we young about? It's called Side Chick. Have you ever been a side chick? I have been a side chick, and I didn't know that I was a side chick. Well, no side. Well, hold on, hold on. I think we've all that. been side chicks and be didn't real. know about it. Did you not yeah. know, or did you not want to know? Or did you? Didn't you know? I didn't know I was a side chick. So you wrote that song based on your experience? No, I just wrote a song trying to empower women that you know they need they deserve to be number one. Nobody deserves me to be number two. Okay, man so or, or woman. Let me cut you off here. You know there are some women in the world that don't deserve to be number one. They just deserve to be mm-hmm. side chicks. Skeet well, skates is what I like to really call them. Well, the master, that's their, you know, private. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying, you trying to empower the chicks to be number one. Some side chicks don't, don't deserve to be number one. 
Well, no right. besides it this way. ever. If you can't be number, if you can't be number one, you shouldn't be anything at all. You can be a side chick. No. Hey, I'm writing a song called. Because look, you this, be another another thing that I am I what I'm trying to get my point across in this song is what happened to being the only one. You know, I I I, I miss listen, relationships listen, where. Taylor, love you, love you song. That shit was dope. I played it last night in my house. Anyway. Thank you so much. You played that. Was you doing something for a record? You got that right. You got busy with Taylor in the I'm record. Lying. I'm lying. I wouldn't do a shit. I'd That's the kind of record you can. not First of all, it's a compliment to R and B. Right, but I, like I just listen to it. She sent me the music, so I listen to it. But you could fuck to her records. Right, I can fuck to that record. That's what it's oh, for. Wow. That's what the record's hold for. On, hold on, hold on. You didn't know you could fuck that record? Have you had sex to any of your music? No. What the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing at all. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't you wouldn't you wouldn't have sex to your records? That's what, have I, you I had sex right. to your record? I haven't. What's, are you celibate? I am. No, That's no, bullshit. no. Bullshit. First, first, like first of all, first hey, of all, let mean, me tell you. Let me tell you. All right, see, Why I gotta be lying? I, mean, I, don't, I don't have to have anybody. I'm not with anyone, so. Mm-hmm. So you're not trying to start you don't a have relationship a or nothing? I'm, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm very focused. You don't feel like you need to be Look, penetrated I'm, I'm not gonna. Let me tell you something. Hey. Next situation. First of all, I don't do situations. I've, I have had a situation before where it was, you know, we were serious with each other, but it just, there was no title. We've all been in those. But is it fun? No. Is it, could it hurt in the long run? Yes, it can. Because at the end of the day, you guys still, you guys aren't committed. So that the man can, it still has the, you know, privilege to go out and do what he wants as well as a female does. But it just never works out that way. To if anything, a situation ship hurts to me, it hurts more than an actual relationship. Why? Because you're getting your feelings involved, knowing that you guys two you two really aren't committed, and I just feel like that hurts more because you still are going to be territorial over that person. <laughs> you are so right. silly. You know? And you know, at the end of the day, the person that you really care about, love in in like whatever you want to call it you don't want to see them with anyone else period okay. people can act like they cool with it no um, when your feelings are involved your feelings are, are involved period point blank right, see, I'm shaking, uh, that's and that's why I feel like a situation it, can all hurt all way all more than a relationship um, in the all, long all run. the women agree to that I just start shaking y'all yeah, everybody was like, I mean can you you guys can understand where I'm coming yeah. from right you know what I'm saying I, it's not it's not easy thing to be in I mean you can't for women. Up. For women. Yeah. Right. For men, too. Mm. I'm going to say no, because actually, when you go into a situation shit. No, no, men get in their feelings, too. Men get in their feelings, too. Certain they type of men. That's the but y'all get in y'all feelings when it's, when it's too late. We get into our feelings when it's too late. When it's too late. That can happen. That can happen. But sometimes, that's just part of the process. Like, me, I always say, like, I enjoy... Happy and sad, like equal. All of the, all emotions is equal. So I get a shot. This shit done got so this, so sobby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, see, he don't get this level right here. So I get it, my man. So, uh, <laughs> so you know, you gonna be so ha- you are gonna be happy a certain amount of time. Hopefully, more than you sad, but you are gonna be sad too. All of us coming. Like a- so like, uh, he ordering drinks for everybody. Save sex and paychecks. That's it. Anyway. <laughs> I'm not look look look. You interrupted our flow of thought, Polly Rob, with the whispering. Why do you see these trends? Anyway. Anyway, back back to, uh, let me get back to my Back to getting into your feelings. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, mm-hmm. men, we, getting sex and having a relationship don't don't require a lot of feelings. That's the end point for me. You can uh, just, I can, I can fuck with somebody and be like, you dope, but I'm not tripping if you leave. Right. Because I was happy before you got, I'm a pretty happy individual. I'm like a twink, I'm like individual. Yeah, I'm right. happy. <laughs> well, I wish it can work out that way for both. If you go out to with no feelings, just know you're pen- getting penetrated. You give women got to be with somebody right. again. If a woman is old and she don't have no man, she might just she start deteriorating away. <laughs> a man get old and he don't have no woman, he start looking at younger titties. <laughs> it just, it just, it's just natural. You start, natural. you start looking at younger women. You right. start measuring what you got. I got Lexus. <laughs> I can just be a girl from Gardena. You know what I mean? Like, stay away from hard throwing chicks, huh? All right, hey, Rob, let's swing this, let's swing this camera to Roxy. No, 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 no. What you mean, no? Roxy's on the show. Roxy, come over here. Roxy, yeah, Roxy. Come over there, Roxy. Bring your mic. We've got a fresh seat for you. 
Those are some interesting things you got on too. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Before we oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, Do you guys know each other, Roxy Taylor Chanel? Do you guys know each other? No. I think we Fly met girl. before. Oh, hi. hi, Taylor. <laughs> Roxy. Oh, Roxy's Roxy. Roxy, talk into the mic, please. Is it on? I'm going to turn you on. Yeah, she on. Taylor, when you get married, he's going to have issues. Uh, hey, uh, uh, 47. Why are you going to have issues? 47 seconds. Can you switch the mics? Yo. Switch the mics. This mic sucks. Because he might be a little jealous with you. Who? Why, why is that? Now. First Who? of all, I went to her Instagram. She kissed more bitches than you. First of all, I ain't kissing She got girls Instagram. posed, and she's like the girl who got the girls. First of all, I'm not kissing no bitches on Instagram. You get, yeah, uh, huh? I'm not kissing chicks on Instagram. I'm talking about she just kissing more bitches than you in general, on or off. She got bars. Go to her Instagram right now. Like I see her Instagram. It's like spring break. All, it's just spring break. You know what? Are y'all following each other? No, we're going to follow you. That's funny. Are y'all switch phones? The switch phone, follow me, follow you? No. Roxy Frank. Roxy Frank. Roxy Frank is okay. the first person who I've ever uh, seen in person after I seen them on Instagram first. And she looked the same. Just that I seen her, I rolled up, I'm driving, I see her in the morning. No, she didn't look the same because she was not camera ready. Oh. <laughs> you look the same. You're going to do me like that. You're going to do it right now. When you saw me, I wasn't camera ready. You weren't camera ready. You were life ready. You cold. And then I looked and I'm like, Hey, I got I follow you on Instagram. I don't know how I follow her on Instagram. Like, I don't either. I, I look like oh, okay, super I'm super hustle like, girl. Don't you don't her. even gotta follow her. You, you don't even gotta know she you got follow. Code. Like, she, she got the code. What code I got? I don't know. I'm just asking. I didn't know I was following me. I didn't know I was following her either. And I'm I'm pretty prejudiced with my followers. She and me both. I don't follow Rob. Rob don't follow nobody. He Rob just started disgusting. following me. Yeah, he just followed me back by the. Month ago, or about so. a week ago, a week ago. When, 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 when Rob stopped doing the wing nights, I stopped following the nigga. Fuck Rob. You don't do the way. What, what, what happened to Wing Express? Feel me? Wing Express? What the fuck is that? She called it the Wing Express. Do we call your shit Wing Express? I thought we called it Wing Mondays. That's why I don't be letting niggas to wear Timberlands make my wing. That's, no, it's all good though. Polly Rob is going to order everybody oh wing stuff. We, we don't want that shit. <laughs> Polly Rob better get in the kitchen and cook some motherfuckers. All right, so yeah. back to Roxy. So, uh, Roxy, explain to the world what you do. Uh oh. Everything. Right. Well, from your Instagram, that's obvious, but can we get into a little more detail? Are you Jamaican? Yeah, are you Jamaican? I am not Jamaican. Okay, go ahead. You might as well be. Shit. Well, Roxy right got now, everything from plug to, to everything. So, yeah. go, go ahead and explain. I ain't going to tell them. I have to go do my research. Go ahead. Well, right now, what I'm basically doing is just trying to help people with employment. So that's what I'm focusing on right now, but I pretty much connect people with everything. Getting mm. niggas jobs. I respect that. Yeah. Hold on. She's saying it nice though. She said Did she you said. follow her? Yeah. I'm you follow wait. Her? I, you I went to go follow her, her and I was like, damn, I already follow her. Yo, let me tell you, this shit is hilarious when you follow her. Cause yeah, she getting niggas jobs. Oh, she, I see that. And <laughs> she dressing them for the interview too though. A nigga, for she real. Like, she like, look, like she'll do a job thing, it'll be like, hey, if you need a job, contact, I see it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> But 10 minutes later, it's like, look, if you want a job, <laughs> niggas need to make sure that when you come, down, like, you know, she like, uh, don't you come around here unless you come correct. You remember uh, Jeff Chris, <laughs> Tuggy, or whatever his name is? Yo, I was Dude, like, you bang on your... But I feel like I have to educate my people, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, no. what happens understand? to make you feel like you yeah, got a bang? Tell now, us I what happens. Hear we, what we know happens what you in do. your Tell inbox. Because I know one thing that happens. Dudes try to turn the hook up into a fuck session. Because yeah, you address that <laughs> on your you address that like look if I'm trying to do business with you, I got a man. I ain't trying to uh fuck you, don't slide through my DM. Slide. You can take pictures of your DMs daily, huh? Well I have to let men know that it's just business, you know, so I can't disrespect, you know. Anything. How I I got a few questions. I'm not even gonna hit you hard with these questions. Let me just go because we on DMs, that's my shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, One, and this go to both of y'all. Yeah, Taylor. Taylor. What's up? Taylor is so fucking She's so cool. She's cool. She's cool. Ass nigga. She, cool. she got already. shades on. She, god damn. Light skin privilege. Anybody, bitch? <laughs> yeah, I called it out. So what? Everybody Why can't wear light skin privilege. I, I don't even mean that. Shit. Sure. Just fur, cleavage, and shades. Yes. Yeah, no. Together is always cool. Anyway. Always cool. All right. So, all right. Thank you. What's your, like, how often do you slide to your DM on some bullshit? Both of y'all. Every day. Daily? Oh, yeah. You get daily dick pics? 
those stop because I started actually blasting people. If you send me a picture of your penis, I'm gonna post it on Instagram. Hey, okay, before before all, you, before hold on, hold on, you, back, well, not back, now, back, back, back. not now, but before. Hold on, first of all, this is not your politically correct show. You can say the word dick. Okay, please say so the word correction. dick. He's vulgar. That's it's only half the show. He's the vulgar shit. I don't have nothing to do with that. Say penis. Say dick. Okay. Shit. But I started blasting people, so they stopped doing it. Ha! <laughs> she had niggas dick on Instagram. Every now and then, every now and then, they will get bold, but they pretty much stop. So you had a dick pic before in your DM? Yeah. Consistent dick pics. So you know what? Phone. Honestly, I haven't. You ain't never got a dick pic? I think people know better. All right, so look. If okay, you wait, no, no. Hat to the back. No, I gotta take a full back. room. Hold on, I need a full room. Oh. Hat to the back. You get dick pics? You got dick pics in your DM? Oh, that was a real shake. Shade. I mean, she probably been getting dick pics since last week. Shade. <laughs> Shade, you get... Shade, you don't get dick pics? Don't get silent. Why are you, why are you blushing? She like, no. <laughs> I she got a dick pic 10 minutes ago. She like, no, and I requested it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. Oh, I know. Maybe I'm not. Okay, wait. It happens. Before you it's... get, before you get like, oh, this is vulgar, is it a moment one of the pics where you're like, oh, okay. And then you get like... You see some nice dicks in your DM. I don't that's attractive. That does not turn me on. That gives me out. Okay. No, pictures that, why are you sending it to me for? Like, why? That's, that's but have you I just agree. been impressed by dirt or not something? Not at all. <laughs> no? No. Okay. Please be like. Because that could, let me tell you, it happens to dudes too. Well, not the dick pic part, but like random girls. A girl hit me on my Facebook recently and was like, she probably watching the show. I'm like, she was like, what that mouth do? I'd have been like, bitch, watch my show and watch me talk, you stupid mug ho. I'm like, wait hey, ho. It's 12 something and you, hey, how's it going? I'm cool. I, it's already odd that I'm getting this already. And it got to what that mouth do and like tip holding pics. I said, oh my God, knock it off. So, okay. So a man can't come to your DM to get at you on no such. Or, or some, it's the right thing to do to set in your DM. Is there a right thing? Is there a right thing? There isn't a, no, there's nothing that anyone can say to me on If you were single. Because I know you're talking for your man right now. So <laughs> if you were single. Is your man watching this show? Did you tell him about the show? Huh? Did you tell him about the show? Huh? Did you tell him? Oh, so that means <laughs> Okay, so know what that means? Oh, he's not watching. Okay, cool. Nope. So is there, is there, if you were single, is there anything to do to say in your DM to make get your attention on some real shit? No. Nothing? No. How long I'm you been with your nigga? How long you been with your nigga? Huh? <laughs> yeah, first of all, she don't date no black dudes. Wait a minute. Hold on. I don't date no black dudes. Do they might be yellow, but they're black. <laughs> they're black. You date black dudes? You date black dudes? Yes. What does your dude now? Is he black? He's black. In what? In yellow. <laughs> He's black. <laughs> He's just light. Okay. I didn't think right. you even date black dudes. Why? Is there anything, huh? Why? Why? Yeah. We're just asking. Because my son doesn't... I, I, have, I haven't seen No, you just look happy. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas make you happy. Oh, okay. I don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> I ain't never been accused of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just have to ask. Taylor Chanel, can, can a dude say anything? Like, if, if this, is there one good line a dude can be like, hey, you know, I don't do this normally. It starts out what I don't usually, a little biggie line, and then bam... Absolutely not. That's why my email's in my bio. Email me. There's nothing a dude can say. There's nothing a dude can say to me on social network. They barely can say anything to me now, so there's anything that God they damn. can say to me. So, so you just be curving, niggas, huh? I do. So, why? <laughs> I'm not interested right now, that's all. So, you just. <laughs> oh, you're not interested. Pussy right now. on standby. I'm just not. So, you don't, oh, have, no, oh, you don't have no Tinder. No. No soul swipe. No, I'm good. You can fuck with the email, though. You fucking. <laughs> oh, speak, say something. Oh shit! Oh shit! Rob says something. Oh shit! Epic. Okay. Okay. So the so, 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 A one. What's that? What's up, A one? What's up, y'all? You know we are talking A one in the building. So Taylor. My favorite singer in the building. Hi, A one. Only, only singer in the building. The only singer in the building. <laughs> That's just really my favorite singer, you guys. Oh, he's I thought you were saying singer. he's your favorite singer in the building. No, he's my favorite singer right now in general. Oh, yeah? Absolutely. You don't like music? Don't oh, stroke this nigga, I, Ego. Oh, he's our friend. I love kidding. music, so child. Actually, actually, A1 kind of gives me a music, so child vibe. Okay, so you know? let me ask you this question. What's up? A1, you in the building. I get to ask you 
Oh, I don't care. Know, if you didn't know A1 and you listen to his music, what you making a pussy with? <gasps> oh, I played the fit. Oh my god. <laughs> played oh, the fit. She's too fucking safe. Wow. She's too safe. No. I'm not safe. This is not a safe show. <laughs> No, see, I look at music differently. Like it, it doesn't do that to me. Music. It just, a music makes me feel good. Okay, y'all just impenetrable. What does somebody gotta do to date you? You're not even looking for a man. So if somebody can say something, is it like you gotta roll up in something? You gotta say the right thing? I gotta bump and spill a drink on you? Gotta have a six figure salary? What the fuck? What is no, it? Um, no. That's, Do you say stuff like he look good on paper? Oh shit! Here she go. He look good on paper. This is the female jag. That's the last. I, I know I come off that way, but that's the no, last thing. First of all, I've been with a very rich man, very rich man, and I was miserable. I but that's probably the most miserable I've ever been in my whole life is with a dude that has money. You've had also some of your heaviest moments right then too. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, at first it's cool. Everything right. is cool at first, right? Uh, you agree, Roxy? At first. At first. At first. Um, some they of my happiest moments are with someone that's just real and that's just their self and that, that's not afraid to just say, hey, this is who I am, this is what I have. You either love me or you don't. I mean, you know. So a broke Money don't define so a, a person to me. It helps yeah. the situation, but at the same time, if you're not happy, it really doesn't help. Because <laughs> I just feel like no matter how much more money a person has than me or whatever, there's nothing that someone can do that I can't do for myself, you know, and that's that. It just is what it is. Right. So your day, your day to broke dude. That makes you happy. I've dated a broke dude before. I mean, it's, he made you happy. He did make me happy. He's so not now, broke anymore. We're his friends now. So but, now you signed up for broke and little penis. No. Oh no no no. You about no, to no. have all the fans. Look, you look, 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 nobody wants to be unhappy, and nobody, of course, nobody wants to be broke. It's too broke, people, that's not gonna work. Somebody gotta balance the other person out. Right. At the same time, for these lights in this room, all this stuff costs money. We know. You know, so. <laughs> and at the end of the day, nobody. There's, what's up? <laughs> we can. You two just. It can't be broke. Right. That I mean. I, okay. When I mean when I say broke, you don't have to have a kajillion dollars. You don't have to. Be super balling. If you just financially stable, that's all that matters. Right, right. You have to remember all that stuff is a plus. Because all it does is just add material things. And, you know, once you have bills and stuff to play, what do you do next with your money? Buy stuff. Okay, let's rank this. Okay. Brain, money, swipe. What's the last word you used to say? Swipe. swipe. Dick. Okay. Penis. It sounded like you said something else. Swipe. Uh, no kids. <clears throat> Order. Swipe <laughs> first. That's no, which one is first? Which one first? Uh, which one is most important? Which one is the least important? She just... Say that order again. Money. <laughs> and we're going to throw looks in there. What's the most things. important and what's the least important? What's, yep, for you. Okay. Go ahead. Money. Looks. Uh... Swipe and uh, what was that? No kids. No and, kids. And no, or no kids. You want me to put them in order? Yep. In your order. This is hard. It is? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so give us yours. Actually, no. no. Okay. No, you said the right order. Oh, yeah? So it's money first. Uh. Yeah, I guess if you put it, if you had, if you would have named other stuff, it might have been different. But yeah, I guess you said the right order. Oh, I had intelligence in there too. Mm. Intelligence was first. Intelligence was first. First, I don't care how much money you got. If you dumb, you get the heck out of my face. Smart ass pro nigga. <laughs> Smart dumb. Like he know everything. Like <laughs> you sitting there in your box, and he's like, you know, the distance from here to the sun is actually. He can tell you all that but shit, smart, but no wild bro? purpose, huh? If he's smart, why is he broke? Because he's a little thing they call too smart for his own good. He's a, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, dudes don't like no broke females, so what difference does it make? Broke females do suck. You know what broke and average Broke in general do? sucks. It's not, I mean, more money is more problems it's because you carry, you carry on more things, but broke also is not fun. <laughs> 
Man, let me no. tell you what. Let me tell you what broke average chicks do. Right. That's annoying as fuck. Okay. They want the same shit that cute bitches with money got. <laughs> Bitch, you can't. They, they got the purse. one stuff. They want. The, they want the same purse as like a queen type of chick. Like you will meet them, right? My boy was just talking about this. He's like, yeah, I met this chick, and I know who the chick was. And and I'm like, right, y'all went out. That's a setup question. First of all, y'all went out. It's an eighties yeah, yeah, fucking turn. He's like, yeah, she keep telling me, uh, uh, you want to get to know me? Like, let's go have lunch. Let's go have dinner. Get to know each other. I'm paying to get to know. I want to know you over the phone. <laughs> First of all, you not fly like that. Like, we already, we already just working something out. You know what I mean? So, it all. And then you wanted to cost. Right. No, no, no. You know they got. Uh, no, no, no. You gotta, you gotta cook at your house. They can't cook at their house. Why? Cause they from LA. No. So they can try to serve you on a paper plate and I'm walking the fuck out. Anyway. Yeah, it ain't even at, at that point. Like, can you cook? I know you got hustle, so yeah. you can't cook. You can't cook. Ramen, oh, clean. What? We know you got I hustle. I can't cook. Well, no. You can't cook. I can't cook. Can you? Can you scroll down my Instagram? No. no. Scroll down to the bottom. I haven't seen that. I've seen scroll that. Scroll down, down to the bottom. She said, to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> to the bottom. <laughs> to the bottom. Well, I, to the bottom is the beginning. Start. You mean back you in start. the day? No, on Instagram, delete, bottom means back in the day. Like, I deleted anything a lot past of stuff off weeks. my Instagram. You deleted the food pics? I deleted pics. like 2,000 pictures off my Instagram. And they, the food pics? Some of them were food pics, yeah. Ask nigga pics? Those been gone. You put your you, you put pictures of you and your man on Instagram. Huh? Did you no. put would you put a picture of you? No, your, no. She, why not? she must got a secret service. Oh, Every time I ask about a nigga, she huh? Why why would you put a picture of you and your man on Instagram? Just the back of his hand when she. So showed. then you won't have to deal with oh, the dudes who are trying to. On my Instagram. You don't have to deal. <laughs> what? I'm you got a picture of the back of his head? No, wait, what? That nigga watch so I feel like I feel like I should keep my personal life off Instagram. But I already know oh, you have a man from your Instagram. How? Because you said I have a man. Stop DMing me. I mean, you said it to me. Hold on, hold on. Time about Paul. What is that? We what have that? a cooking <laughs> picture from Roxy. Is that a picture? Oh, of hey, Roxy, give that. me a phone. Let's see. Let's see. Let me see that. Can she explain what you? That's a do? download. Come on, That's man. That's food. What is it? A download of food. Why would I explain what you cooked? <laughs> she, Googled, she Googled picked her. <laughs> we know you know what it is, but you didn't cook that. I didn't cook that. I didn't I wish, it. What I you cook? Let me see. Let me see. Okay. I wish some of the people that I cook for no, could that's, vouch for that's, me. First of all, it's plated. LA women, the few that can cook can't plate for shit. No, I know your plate is too good. <laughs> first of all. Really? Yeah, come on now. That shit. That look right. Oh, no, I know how to okay. cook. So right, can you cook Taylor Shipman? I know you Taylor can Taylor Shipman, can you cook? cook? Wow. I can cook. <laughs> No, you Why do you have to be ugly? I'm never cook. too good, no, exactly. too pretty for nothing. I, I can cook. cook. You can cook. What can you cook? I, I'm not talking Hold about on. LA shit. Hold on. What's your go to specialty? Spaghetti. <laughs> tacos. You ain't shit. I ain't gonna lie, my Big tacos. Is jamming. Big, what you, what you, you gotta say. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, my tacos is jamming, but I my yeah, cheese enchiladas. Yeah. You know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you make enchiladas or enchilada pie? Like, enchiladas. You, they roll. You roll. They roll. You roll. I actually stand she there. She got and a lazy roll, bitch. Roll, roll, Shout roll out to boat. Taylor Chanel. I actually stand there and roll, roll, roll the boat and put them in the oven. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. That part. Do you, you got a lazy on? bitch. Uh, I I put olives on them, but me, I'm kind of like I hate onions. I hate bell peppers. I hate olives. So I'll make like a batch of plain ones for me, and then for everyone else, I'll make them the stuff with all the onions and the olives and stuff. What about the you, stuff Roxy? I don't like. What's your go-to dish? You first of all, Roxy, your show is a download. So what we oh, that to was ask a it. download. I cooked that. <laughs> what was the meat? What's so hard? Steak. You never. I don't understand. You know? Because it looked it too good. I'm jealous. It looked real. Let me see the plate again. Because that plate wasn't. Nobody owned that plate. She ain't got that plate. Her <laughs> that plate is hey, from I'm Walmart. Giving, I'm I giving you it. full credit over here. I mean, your plate was a little too immaculate for LA. Well, I mean, I took but a picture for Instagram, so I did make the plate kind of nice. <laughs> no, oh, so, oh, hold on. So that plate was good, but the next plate, that shit was just mashed don't together. You can believe the hype if you want to. I believe in it. See, her. Taylor Chanel kept it kind of real. She said, Enchiladas and tacos. That's LA shit. That happened. Are you are you into a Latino? I'm not Italian. Oh yeah, Italian. With that said, but you from Italian. LA. With that being said, my fettuccine alfredo is really good. But that's not the only Italian food there is. Which I just, That's my favorite eat? pasta. What's your favorite jar? Hey, hold on. She <laughs> made steak fries. See, that's her. That's her. 
Who can tell about him now? Because I don't look good. Hold on, let me see your wrist. Oh, don't play with me. Come here. <laughs> she about to lose her fucking mind. No, you about to make What is that? Is that my Rice Krispie Treats? Oh, I can make some Rice Krispie Treats. Who said? This Taylor, I, I thought that was green pea casserole or some shit. What no. The fuck is this? The Grinch? The Snow Christmas? <laughs> Pretty much. What is those this? Those for St. Patrick's Day, and I make those during the holidays. You got holiday treats? Every holiday, I make Rice Krispie Treats. Taylor Chanel. That's my Taylor Chanel is getting better by the second. You got <laughs> Thug Legacy. Somewhere in your family, you got some Thug Legacy. You can cook some shit, and you know how to make that plate for the... See, this is the thing. When, when every light-skinned girl... And, and I don't begin to the dark-skinned, light-skinned thing, but I'm going to tell you one thing about it. You can tell you got a good light-skinned girl or a bad one. Because the attitude just come with it no matter what. Yeah. But here go the thing. Light-skinned girls are picky as fuck. Over shit that don't matter. Bell peppers, no. onions, no. shit like that, right? So you can tell if you got a good one whether she lets you have to deal with how she eat it or <laughs> she one of the ones to be like, I make one for everybody else that got what they want. And then she make whatever she want for herself. That's a good light skin. That's a good light skin. Taylor Chanel. Why you ain't got no man? What you more butterscotch now. Are you crazy or something? Why you got no man? Everybody's crazy. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody's crazy. I mean, I will say this, like, of course, you know, when I was younger, <laughs> I would handle things a lot more different than I would now. Now, um, I'll just, probably more so just, okay, I'll be in my feelings for a few days, and then I'll just let it go. See, I'm a Taurus, so. Ooh. Okay. A couple years ago, the old me, <laughs> if you heard me, I'm going to do everything I can. Oh, we need the last part to the pu puzzle. What school did, high school did you go to? Fairfax. Oh, oh, wait, Fairfax, hey. Nigga, you went to Birmingham. I went to Fairfax for my last three months. I, I went to, uh... <laughs> <laughs> my school called and asked my mom, would she be willing to transfer me even though I didn't do nothing wrong because they thought I was going to fuck up the graduation. Was you going to fuck up the graduation? I had all plans of uh, fucking up the graduation. <laughs> I was like notoriously able to get the other kids to do shit in big ass groups and dance and do other shit. Oh, I you was gonna, fucking it up. I was going to fuck up the graduation. Fuck it up. Then I got to Fairfax and my teacher was like, yo, I'll give you a C if you just don't come back. And I was like, give me a V. <laughs> like, I'm going to give you a C. Roxy, what school did you go to? I went to Glendale High. I went to Hawthorne for a little My son went to Glendale. He did. Yeah. I'm sorry. I went to Clark Magnet, and then... You got kicked out. But you get kicked out? Like, yeah. hell. Usually girls with hustles had some, like, they were bad kids at one point. They were hustling? I wasn't a bad kid. I just didn't take no shit. <laughs> oh, so but you I was fighting a lot? First of all, no, I was you were a kid. You dared to take shit. So you were no, a bad kid. No, I was kid. defending myself. I, I feel like everyone wanted to pick on the skinny girl. Hey, girl. So. No matter what so type of girl you are, you always feel like that. I was. <laughs> what did you say? I'm sorry. I said she was socking bitches in the face. She said she was. They both seemed like they were violent. Like they could put hands. Taylor got violent. some. They it's both so... seemed like they like Taylor seemed like she that uh, one light skinned girl that like she actually whoop your ass, but she don't be fighting because people figure it out. Yeah, she like, probably whoop your ass. And like... then her people, she like she got peoples. You got peoples. You got peoples. Of course, I think everyone should have peoples. You like you get somebody fucked up for some. Oh, bullshit. I will. Yeah. yeah. Have you? Um, yes. I mean, I, I try not to put myself in, in positions to, you know, have to make that happen. But yes, yes I've been in some situations. But, uh oh, Chris Santos, Santos in the spot. Santos in the building. We always gotta shout Chris Santos because his his is the thing. only one that really be listening to our show. Yeah, anyway, yeah, hey, come you see me right real quick. <laughs> this is Santos, the plug, oh, my yeah. little brother. Yo, wherever you are. Hey, here go the funny shit I gotta tell you. So we have we we previewed his song last. I played it again tonight. Yeah, we played it tonight. So we, we previewed his song. I didn't tell you this. Too. We previewed his song. Turn your mic on. Man crush, man crush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, people was just logging on, logging on here and shit, right? Right. So then they start following us. So I didn't know. I had somebody follow me. This it said Chris Santo. The same motherfucking name. Yo. The same person that probably Yo. emailed me. I'm like, so I'm like, okay. It's Chris Santos page. So I'm start one time I just look, I'm like, damn, the homie pups is some kind of he love himself, right? <laughs> so I'm looking, you know, if you don't know watching watching the show, you know, he's from one of those groups. So yeah. he uh, uh he's famous. He's so famous. yeah. So this dude was obsessed with I'm, I'm looking at the shit, I'm, but I'm not know I'm thinking it's his. I'm like, damn, the homie kinda got problems. <laughs> 
So then I'm like, nah, this him, this not him, because he he too cool of a dude. And if you know him, you know he way like more debarge than this. You know what I mean? Like he's debarge. You know, life's good smooth nigga. Yeah, you know he right? yeah, he's smooth nigga. So uh uh Anyway, I ended up starting finding out it was a fan page, and I told why. He hey, like, do you know oh, how many fan pages this dude has? No, I got like millions. Do you know who I am? Yeah, he just said, do you know who I am? <laughs> this nigga just came and... Listen, he just flossed our He just flossed. And then he, he, tried, he, tried, to, he tried to sneak charges when we, we uh, previewed the songs. Nah, shoot me fine, honey. And walked out. Right. That nigga wanted that right. fun. I ain't charging nigga shit. He lucky I don't leak his shit. The girls love when y'all play it. Yeah, we can always premiere your shit. You yeah, little brother, we got you. Yeah. No, nah, that, that song that was playing there the other day, I can't even talk about it. You feel me? Uh, I, had, I had put that on hang on the hang with that. Make sure everybody download that app. You feel me? Follow me. That song took the plug. You put that shit That song crazy. I didn't, I was working, so I missed it. I had somebody, I had somebody I like, email I like, me about I, that I song. I like Man Crush, but no. The one he was in there playing today, I didn't even know he dropped it out. It's hot. Maybe I'll play it next week. Uh, I doubt it. I'm gonna, gonna let I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna let people just wait for it. No, you gotta go. Still, uh, you gotta stay with that one. Yeah, right I'm gonna stay with that. Oh, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stay you with that. Stay one. with that one right now because we kind of rocking with that one. With All right, so star. I don't mean to be rude, but you gotta get the fuck off our show. Cause we got you see these two ladies. Y'all call me out. Yeah, yeah. exactly. He's so, he's so exactly. hot. Exactly. He just put it. He just blamed it on you because you like scared. I know you're too famous for our show, man. Come on, we don't need that. We don't need that. just put a light skin segment. We did. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't my little brother. I called They put all the light skin people on blast. No, we love light skin people. And I love my brown skin people, okay? Now, do you, do you date light skin dudes? No. What is that? <laughs> what is that? That's like, uh, that's a well-known, like, light skin girls don't date light skin dudes. Why is that? I, you know what? You think, you know. I mean, I don't I don't discriminate. If I come across a light skin dude and he cool, then he just cool. Was he your just... last boyfriend light skin or no, dark No, he wasn't. When is the last time you dated a light skin dude? It's been that long? Oh, I haven't been in a real relationship in, like, three years. Wait, you and Young didn't have a real relationship? Huh? You and Young didn't have a real relationship? No. How old are Oh. Oh. Oh, oh you wait, I thought, you know, you been that young? No, I'm scared. Because you're in the video, it looked believable. In the video, it looked believable. We're friends. She, that was the We're most good. not real. We're friends. Damn, shut the fuck up, buddy. You fuck it up. How old are you, Taylor? I'm 26. You're 26? Really? Yeah. You're a smooth 26. Yeah. Thank you. Why are we asking women their age on the show? They don't give a fuck, it's my show. I don't know, I'm proud of my age. bad I'm legs. That, that ruins the fantasy for me. I think everybody's 23. <laughs> if I think you're attractive, I call you 23. Roxy, you got some interesting ass tights on. I'm keep looking at them. Oh yeah, I was gonna say I love your tights. Forever 21. Hey, that's my story. At least you ripped your butt your shit. Forever 21. You like this Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you got this out of rainbow. Don't lie to me. Oh my god. You yeah. can't kind of share. Y'all kept it sexy. Y'all that's that's how I know y'all didn't watch the show. Right. <laughs> they they they, yeah. they they dress too professional. <laughs> So it was real tricky. I had to throw my fur. Because one minute it's cold, it's hot, it's cold, and I ain't trying to sit, mm, mess with the vocals. <laughs> she said, mm. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, so uh, Roxy, what ethnicity is your current or last boo or whatever? The, uh, yeah, we got off that. that. I said he's black. Okay, let's, let's be real. And I don't even want to get political. Do you guys date white men? Boom! I haven't. But you open to it. If I was not involved. This dude got you locked. Damn, you don't break a As no rules. As should. That's good. She don't we break no rules. people in the world. She has not slipped up. Well, he watching at the home at the house like. Okay. I wish she would. Okay, I see you. <laughs> oh, he yeah, he don't good. speak English. I can't I see you. <laughs> I see you. He's black. Way. He speaks English. Man, he is not black. You gonna have to put a picture of him up. Yeah. I am not going to do that. He must. What be is that gonna ruin? Famous. He must be famous or something. Is he famous? Um, <laughs> I'm just not gonna post him. Like, if you were housewives of some area, you would be the one with the secret boo that buy you the little Rolls Royce. Definitely, absolutely, I would be the one with the secret. Boo. Taylor would be the one with the high profile basketball playing boyfriend. I don't do athletes. You don't do athletes. No. So what athletes. the fuck do you do, Taylor? Like, <laughs> you like nerdy broke niggas from uh, where? That's she like the true. IT nigga. 
Let me tell you what I like. Ooh, okay, you guys want to know what I like? I just want to know. Please, Let me take a sip of my wine. Hold on. Open up, please. Yeah, take the flu. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell y'all, this is my shit. perfect ideal man. Okay. Take it. Take it off. Fuck it. No. Jeez. My perfect ideal man is just someone that's honest. Uh, my best friend, loyal, you know, um, goals, has a future ahead of himself, or, you know, someone that's established and, you know, working already and has his stuff together and, you know, still has goals to reach higher level. <clears throat> Humble and, Amen. of course, we all want someone that looks good, but that's not a main priority. If he, if I, if I like you, I like you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you said all He's that. A if he had a small dick, would you still fuck with him? <laughs> <laughs> no, because somebody's listening. To, trust me, is yeah. somebody listening? Oh, I it's know like somebody specifically listening. Specifically going. I, I say he I, don't I, have shoot, to have a much to, As many text yeah. messages I've sent, I hope somebody listening. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, they listen. oh yeah. We get some. We get some weird. Uh, yeah. You know, I, we probably don't have no more London watches after last week. Because, see, for me, it's for me, um, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's chemistry and, and, you know, spiritually that comes first. And sex and all that is, that's, you know, that's, of course, that's a, a big plus, part of a relationship. It is a big part, but at, at the end of the day, if you don't have chemistry, then I could care less about your sex. Okay, okay, so, what if you have great chemistry? And the sex yeah. is great. Because to me, if you be honest, if you got great chemistry and all that cool shit, that's like a bestie. Like, if the dick is bad, what are we... Like, what are we if you have bad sex life, right? Like, mm -hmm. literally, you are unsatisfied. Okay. You can stay in it because you guys get along great, or you're going to be like, you know what? Your friends are... Hell no. Sex is important. Very, 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 very. Thank you! You Roxy. know what? You know what? But, My thing is this. But Rocky look, or, or Roxy looks like a super freak. So, for right, her to say Roxy, that... <laughs> yeah, I... We gonna get to you anyway. Roxy seemed like her dudes be feeling a little bit insecure because she's more freak than them, which is why she not breaking no rules because she know they can't they can't handle the no like mm, I can't break my man down. But you said what? She's thinking. Here's my thing, you know. In most situations, uh -huh. nine times out of ten. If it's horrible, then you just automatically get unattracted to them. Yo. I think that's just the way it is. Okay. Okay. Now we going to real shit. I mean, you okay. know, right. now you can have a best friend. Y'all can actually love each other. Like, real. I've been in a situation where I've loved someone and we just didn't have sex. I've been in that situation. And, and, we just, and of course, we never went that. further, but, you know, it is what it is. I did that one. You know, I but you can really care about this person, but you just decide to keep it what it is because you guys don't want to end up hurting each other. Because bad sex, sex com it can bad, complicate bad things. Sex <laughs> bad sex hurts. Bad no, sex. but you, but you automatically that for me that that just there's just no such thing. If you have horrible sex, you're just gonna automatically get unattractive and you get immediately turned off. But you seem a little easier to please than like they don't say like Roxy. You know what I mean? Like, How do you know what she? she oh, she, oh, she seemed like a sweet person. I, in this in this day, day. yeah, yeah. Put in, in the, the bedroom, bedroom. She made you never know. She probably go home and treat her man like a king. I can tell by the way oh. she talk about she him. She probably got to train him too. Right. She no. made her king. No. <laughs> No, you know what? You know what? Yes. Oh, prior, hey. no, prior, prior, yes. This one, no. no. You are doing all the right things. No, I'm being honest, that's though. Nigga. He must have, you must have recently fucked up with him. Right. No, I did you cheat on him or something? If she no. did or she didn't, she doing the right thing. You're supposed to represent away from him, and that's where cheat. it really matters. That is where it really matters. I don't it's cheat. so political. You don't cheat. I don't cheat. Under any circumstance. Under any circumstance. I need to get some business in here. No. You if you got friend. a mouthpiece, you don't gotta use certain things to take care of it. We back to the, we talking about the mouthpiece. The and I'm not talking Booyah. about the mouthpiece. No, that's good. No, you you seem like you can draw the line. You just seem like when it does come time, you just more of a freak than your dude. She seemed a little bit more easier to please. What do you mean by that? <laughs> you seem like your dude might only be like okay in bed, and you'll be like, no, you fine. Her dude seemed like like she got to teach all her dudes. Yeah. No. 
<laughs> you kind of like hot to the back. Hot to the back? Yeah, hot to the back. She a fucking nigga down. You know what I mean? Like, Wait. That's the back door deep. That's back door deep. She, she take a nigga down. Yeah. She don't have no competition. No, no because I disagree. I disagree because even okay, you can get turned off. It's like, okay, I know you can do better. Right. You know? Yeah. yeah. So if you nice. come in and fumble. At the end of the day, if you're not satisfied to where you want to be, you're going to get turned off and you're going to get pushed away, period. And that's in every aspect. That's in the bedroom. That's in the friendship, the relationship part, life. the love, Good. life. Exactly. Right. So. You seem like you have pretty sex. Like, you and your dude, you trying to look Like, she makes, she makes the most of it. Like, love. Towels on standby. Right. Plotting. Plotting. They plotting each other. The lighting oh. candles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody make up. Everybody, full. Everybody. They look like the Mimi Falls sex like, cake. Like, it's pretty. It's like, not no. it's sexier. But definitely produced. Produced. Produce. Yeah, it exactly. looks produced. Oh like there's lingerie every time. Now, Roxy, Roxy, mm -mm. She, Roxy she just, should seem like Roxy baby, is not we can get paid like if man. we sell less. But the man will have to get his bars. Word up. Wait, hold on. What? You seem like you would never settle down with somebody who could, who could even hang with you. You got half lace everything you got on right now. <laughs> like it's half sheer. <laughs> everything you got on is half sheer, and you got I on it red. It is. it is. And I got on red what? And you got on red nails. He likes red nails. He, he likes, likes to be nails. dominated. Yeah. What's your, what's your safe word with him? My what? Your you safe got word. a safe word? You got a safe word? No, what's the safe word? When you go too far with him and he feel like he getting hurt, he got to tell you. He's like, like Camels! Oxnard. Camels! Yeah. <laughs> and you know to stop. We don't have a safe word. Oh, he's nasty as well. Dog he, bastard. He's a junior kid in comparison to her. Okay, you're right. What? You've taught your man something. I promise you. you, I didn't teach him I anything. I promise you he didn't Okay, so what has he taught you? Nothing. Nothing. Like, she's she's, I don't she's really a teacher. Wanna, I don't really want Roxy wanna... got more hustle and sexual prowess than her men. False. Maybe prior, yes, but this one, no. And I'm not just saying that. Like, I'm being we can only talk about this one when he's not here. Like, past. Right. Like, if y'all break up with him, hopefully you don't, then we're going to come <laughs> back. If you break up with him, schedule. And be come like, back. come, come back. We want to know everything. And then you can talk about it. Because so right now you give it. We want you to succeed in your relationship. We do. Because when Taylor was dealing with him, she didn't have. That's why she. <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> when Taylor was dealing with who? Her, her man. Well, we don't know what you did no, with him. So he he likes him. She didn't deal with him. Taylor seemed like her dudes be fucked up when they break up. Right. Like, you seem like you dated some emotional ass niggas. The Drake of the world. Some black Drakes. And when they leave. They start dating like either they make a definite your men make a definite change in their life when they break up with you. They either don't date light skinned girls no more, or they, uh, or, or, they or, just they just fucking or you know they just they got suicide watch. They don't want to settle them. down no more. They won't buy a bitch nothing. Fuck that bitch. I'm, they won't, they won't buy you life. nothing after after Taylor Chanel. Yeah, they they play for life after Taylor. Look, she like is it she true? like yeah. You scarred she man for life. Niggas life up. She like it. Look at that look. First of all, I can tell by the type of like, mix, uh, like lipstick you got on. Right. <laughs> oh, when you God. got that super all weather Mac flat, that means she your bar. Flat Mac, yeah. That means your yeah, relationship yeah. bars is up. Oh, all the way up. She don't do. She don't get hurt. She do all the hurt. She oh. definitely like a hurt. Oh no no, hurt. no 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 no! That's not true at all. Don't. I'm a Taurus. I'm very sensitive. I don't know. What you're you're a Taurus. You're a damager. I have a really big heart too. Wait, no. what are you? What sign are you? Talk about that. What sign are you? What sign are you, Roxy? You yeah, she, got a money, she got a uh, dollar sign ring. What sign are you? I'm a Leo. Oh, Ooh. Nigga. My mom's nigga. a Leo. I'm a Leo. Leos are great. Leo's Ooh, bossy, great. but they great. Oh, now I know your man can hang. At all. What is your dude? Ooh, no. He an Aries. I think it's a cancer. He an Aries. He's some soft. He a Sagittarius. He's actually <laughs> someone that can deal with me. So what far, sign though. is he? We put in a lot of business out there. I, I kind of want to keep Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> you ain't said the nigga name. There's no pictures of him. We can't even know the nigga sign. Sometimes a private life is, is a better life. You said yeah. a what? Sometimes a private life is a better life. It just protects you. Well, you know what? I feel like, you know, you're an artist and people want to get a different look in your life. Right. And then you are a business person who handles a lot of, you know, information of other people. So we want to know some information about you. About me, it's fine. You, nobody can't have you. Right. Uh, we know you can that. at least know something. They sure can't. Um, yeah. What's the most, let's have a moment. What's the most important thing somebody should know about you 
leaving this conversation. Both of you. I'm genuine. That's important. I'm very genuine. You do seem to be pretty genuine. I am. Okay, Taylor. I would co-sign with Roxy. I'm really genuine. I will give someone the sweater off my back. Give me that shirt. Excuse me? Give me that. He wants yeah, the sweater yeah, off your back. He's cold. Let's start I don't think you can fit my fur, honey. He, he just cold. It's Size cold. prejudice. Size prejudice. <laughs> no. Hey, bitch. no, you got another quality. I don't know if it's genuine. You seem like you yeah, just are. We don't figure it I'm going to tell you what, 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 what Taylor Chanel seems to me like. She's the most, like, she's the easiest that you could get wrong. Probably whatever you, know, whatever you think about her is probably out of people I met. It's think. usually probably, she seems like she makes you wrong a lot. Right. People, people probably jump to the wrong conclusion. Yeah. You okay. seem like that type. People think that all light skinned girls are conceited, stuck up, and. I'm Most really just a really nice person. I mean, I mean, I'm not perfect, of uh, course, but... I'm, uh, you know. I really do have a big heart. Because like, you can come across if you want. You look like you're stuck over there, Steve. Santos, you can come across. You like you just like, I'm stuck here. Do whatever you want. Uh, Santos. No, I'm just Are you stuck enjoying it? It's, it's Young man. It's, it's cool. Okay, so with that said, we're going to go into one of our favorite segments of the show. No, nah, because they both... Uh, no, well, we can't do this one. We can't do them, and then we got 40 seconds, seven, seven seconds. Somebody got to be there. Somebody got to attempt to be there. No, no, we got to go through something different. <laughs> because she got to do, right, so we gotta and go she's through. a self-proclaimed non-lover of people right now. Right. Why? That's not true. Huh? I'm just focused. That's all I said. I didn't okay, say. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Make it special. Yeah, make it like okay. coffee or something. No, 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 no. Hold on. That's real. What? But that that kind of goes against the whole. Exactly. Thing. They don't even know what we're talking about. So we had a segment we do called uh, "Gone in 60, sixty Seconds," and yeah, and it's not sixty seconds. Sixty seconds. seconds. And it's basically if you can lock down somebody a booty call for tonight in under a minute. But you got to do. Gotta so do. if you couldn't do that, so you're out of it. we have to we have to let you go. And then she's already. I don't do booty calls. She don't. Yeah, she don't want well, booty calls. You're not receiving the booty call. You're giving it. I don't give them either. You're just safe all the way but, around. But, I, you know what? Fuck. I think Taylor Chanel could call. But I don't know if under a minute. But, uh... I'm pretty sure she could lock some ass in like 20 seconds. So basically you have somebody call. No, 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 no. You no. call. You call. On your phone. On your phone. On speaker. And you make, with whoever you want, a date for the night to get some. And they got to confirm it. In under a minute. Now let me tell you. On the men's side, because it's kind of women versus men challenge yeah. too. The record on the men's side at thirty-five seconds. At thirty-five seconds is the reigning fucking champion. None the other man, than the myth, the legend, Polly Rock. Polly motherfucking Rock. Thirty-five, 35 seconds. seconds. <laughs> the champion for the, the women. Champion for the women is in the building at forty-seven seconds. <laughs> The back, door, the, the back door diva. The back door diva, hats <laughs> in the back. For forty-seven seconds. Forty-seven seconds. She locked down some dick in forty-seven seconds. Now the nigga is mad and don't answer her phone calls anymore, <laughs> but she locked it in. Yeah, we, we had some people fail, too. They just yeah, we had some people that their phone just... I know I'm going to fail because I ain't doing it. I don't have a booty call. So, yeah, you don't know, no, no. We weren't allowed to do that. And then. If, if I'm going to get something, it's going to be someone I get something from every day, okay? <laughs> oh, so you're <laughs> Every day, all day. Oh, oh wait. Until that's. Until that's. So, so are until you that fucking? day comes? Huh? Okay, let me say this because. I just thought about your little criteria. Uh, broke, maybe not a big swipe, funny guy. I so would you date lazy? <laughs> you gonna give people the wrong impression by this like that, my nigga? Oh would you date lazy? Like, what would lazy have to say? I'm funny. <laughs> you know, I can put my dick size on the show. And I got a big criteria. I got education. There we I got go. A job. Bam. So I what would show? What would he got to do? Polly Rob. What, 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 what lazy got to do is like to get a date, and then we can hear about it on another show. Um, she haven't paused this long on no question the whole time. <laughs> she ain't the niggas like me. He not light skin. Come on, he meets the criteria. I got a car. <laughs> he not no model. I ain't a model. I'm a real nigga. What do you got to do? I'm what, like, what would he have to say? Productive you know, I, you know, it's sometimes it's all about like a man's approach. Too. Oh, he so got a black You know, you can't. I got hit it with the Jerry Rice. <laughs> it's a man's approach. I don't know. It. I can't really. 
It just has to. Your vibe has to be right. He's too young for you. What the fuck? I'm older than her. She she seems like she's like an older man. Yeah. That older. Part. You do that part. She's How older much older do you? Like a Frankie and Beverly and like thirty five. Like <laughs> You're what, 26? She was 26, so she was a 38-year-old. Like, okay, like, for instance, the, the one of the most recent that niggas you fucked with. Yeah, last dude I dated. He, he How was, long ago was this? Um, about... <laughs> Just, Just about three years ago. A couple years ago. How long was this going for? A year and some change. He'll be 30 in a few months. That's old. No, no, I, and then the dude I Whoa. dated, little after that, well, yeah. How many niggas have you dated? Because I, I, you know, I like to give people another chance sometimes. So I've had someone that I've dated off and on. You, know? you can't get rid of them. Are you clingy? Um, yeah, I am. Clingy. Are you clingy? You're clingy? You're a human. Most women are clingy. Yeah. If I love you, if I love you, oh my God, you're my best friend. I, I, I'll do anything for you. As long as you're, man. as long as you're honest. Yeah. Me. But yeah, um, but I guess I would say the last dude is probably like 35. Oh, that's not But that was the one that's like off and on, you know. Roxy that younger man. Her nigga 26. The 22. We'll be 31, thank you. Girl, that's tight. Okay. Yeah. At least you got a nigga age. She didn't beat her on that. I, I like Roxy's style because she, like, she got her shit together. Right. Her social media game, like, you can tell her shit is together. Yeah. I mean, it's a. That should be everyone's goal. Everyone you be getting motherfuckers with used cars and shit. <laughs> Credit. She. she <laughs> She got all the hustles. Like I never seen somebody had that many hustles on Instagram. Hey, you know what? Did you have a doctor note? Never gonna talk about the doctor. Oh, talk about that legal shit. Now we a fucked up show. We ain't a we assist the hustle. Like don't you tell them where the weed contact at? I ain't asking her that. I don't smoke. As you can see, the sober nigga in the room. Right, you and Rob. I don't smoke either. You don't. You don't smoke. I do not smoke. Why are you looking at me like that? That's your shot right you there. Seen more damn. I don't you don't smoke? smoke? No, now, that's where I thought you would smoke. Oh, no, Roxy, no. that's your shot. No, Welcome to shot class. I have to drive. Me too. I drive for a living. Why are you and still listening to me? Nigga, talk! Huh? And I don't drink as... I don't drink like You don't drink? You got wine in your fucking glass over there. I don't drink like I used to. You don't drink like you what? used to? No. So you know what? You focus right now, huh? Yeah. She just like all around. If you was in a gang, you'd be that nigga. <laughs> It'd be hard. What is she doing with Rob? I'm trying to make him like alcoholic. <laughs> did you have a shot already? I did not have a shot. Oh, there you go. There you go. Take it. Just one. I'm trying to see what Rob 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 cooking for dinner. Ain't no wings in there made, tacos, nothing. Hey, who, who expecting you to get? Ain't no pizzas. You you ain't, you ain't Rob wings. Rob, we come I ain't had him yet. Because usually he does it on Monday, and usually I'm in the valley on Mondays. Man, Rob got the ghetto flavor names. Obama. I had the Obama. wings. The wings are good. You had the Obama gray? I had the mango. No, Rob can cook. I don't never You had the mango, habanero. Mango yes. Oh my goodness, it was really good. The uh, Alfredo Parmesan. I'll be like, hey, what do you mean here? Just cook. And hey, you don't smoke, we even come up with them flavors. Hey, that's Rob. Right. That's the funny. fucking mind of the show. Dickhead. <coughs> He's like a mom. He over there half drunk though. He don't have on flip flops today though. So he actually got on Tim's today. Right, right. You know I'll be tripping off of niggas that live their whole life in LA but they just won't let their New York roots go. That's probably right. So Rob, we're gonna make some of that good old chicken and broccoli macaroni and cheese. Chicken and broccoli, that sounds interesting. I've never had it. He don't wanna talk he don't wanna talk. How long is it gonna take? I'm hungry. <laughs> a chip and dip in here. Chip and dip. A chip a bad a burrito. She eat regular shit. <laughs> so oh, she kind of like Mary J. Blige. Oh. You, go ahead, Ross, go ahead. You know how Mary J. Blige was like the hood diva? Right. Like she, oh, yeah. yeah. I get so excited when the ice cream truck comes still. Let me tell you. <laughs> the ice cream truck, it'll come, right? It, matter of fact, it's it passed me up today. Hold on. The ice cream truck passed me up today, and I was so upset because the ice cream Did truck never up? comes in my neighborhood. And I meant to call my mom and tell her, like, girl, the ice cream truck came down citrus. <laughs> So, I, I just knew I was gonna. I just knew I was gonna get my hot Cheetos with nacho cheese and a little uh, watermelon suckers with yeah. the chili on top. Whoa. That ice cream truck. I said, hey, hey. hello. I get 
gave a, I gave a run down the street. I had my little Hello Kitty slippers on. That was my mama's yeah. outfit. <laughs> you know how many girls I proposed to with that ring pop? Word. Oh. I did that. I ain't posted that up. I've never been a fan of the rainbow. I just wanted the watermelon suckers with the chili on top and the hot Cheetos with nacho cheese. No, what about back in the day, the salty seeds? Who fuck made that type of snack? Who made that shit? Look, this thing's got hype in the back. Oh, hot Cheetos and cream cheese. Y'all ever had hot Cheetos and cream cheese? That's my two. No, wait, what? That's my two. Hot Cheetos and cream cheese with the flavor water. I don't know what it is, but it sure looks good. Is it? It's good. But I prefer the hot. I prefer the hot Cheetos with the nacho cheese. No, I like those. And if I hear a corman, don't let me hear a corman. I'm gonna chase him all the way down the street. Like hello, I'm gonna put on my running shoes. Like corman, hello. I told my mom the other day. I said I need a corman. She goes, "Hey, why don't you go in the kitchen and make it yourself?" I said, "I want the corman." You just got the Mexican cheese at the house. You need the crema. You can't just. I need the corman. Hello, hola, corn. Thank you. Oh, and I don't want it in a cup. I want it on the cob with the butter and the, and the, the chili sauce. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm actually not with the corn. I, I, I actually got a thing I against all, all like all right. Mexican car food. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I got a thing against all Mexican car food. When I first moved to Glendale, when I did live in Glendale, I wasn't thinking about that. Like two days after I moved there, the cart dude, like the lady, like, oh, uh, whatever the fuck she said, you know, it's a little bell. <laughs> the little bike horn from the rerun days. I went out there. I like had a full like. Don't come around here no more. Like again, like that I was bad. And she came every. She didn't give a fuck what I said. That's she she came every day. You said. She hit that little bike horn right in front of my window. And I live like right in the front. Anyway, I got. I'm, I'm against that. I'm against the, the fucking bacon wrap hot dog too. The bacon wrap hot dog lady outside the club? I hate the existence. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I watch the doctors, right? Every day, faithful. I think he come on like at 12. And if you saw what they said about hot dogs, period, you'll never want to eat a hot dog again. And I'm just warning everybody, don't eat no chicken nuggets from McDonald's no more. Don't do it. Oh, no. Is don't do like it. Taste or don't do it. What is don't, it? You get the foot. Ooh, don't do it. We not shouting out Pizzle. What? We shouting people mm -hmm. out? Pizzle? Did you say Pizzle? Why are we talking about Pizzle? Like, Pizzle that's You don't say shit and the like first thing you say is shout, shout out Pizzle. Like Pizzle, Pizzle that was just here? And Knuckles and Hell? Chick-fil-A is cool. Yeah. Chick-fil-A. Oh, Chick-fil-A. Chick I, no, I love the fact that they're not open on Sunday, actually. Sometimes I get really mad. Open. But they don't like gay people, right? That's the one. <laughs> yeah. I thought they're just Christian. That's all. What? No. Why did Frank Ocean stop? Like some of Frank Ocean. They did discriminate. I mean, because they're really Christian. They're like really, really, and that's why they're not open on Sundays or anything. But they did have something where they were, I guess, discriminated against gay people. <coughs> I don't know what ever happened with that. I remember that though. I yeah, remember yeah, something I remember like that. that. Uh, Chick Fil A's overrated. I don't fuck with Chick Fil A. This is overrated. Motherfuckers praise that shit. This shit is just. What the fuck ever? But they got good commercials. So are any of you in a relationship? How do your women feel about you guys on the show? And the Whoa. Show? Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa. You have broke rule number We only have one three. rule here. <laughs> we got rule number three here. What? That is not to ask us questions. We are the question askers. People don't care about us. This is why you here. This is why you here. I'm oh, she it, came out the if this was bedroom, the I asked woman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wow, are you in my business. <laughs> huh? You're interested as fuck. Oh, she took off her glasses. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm shit. Eyes. Look at that. It's a hot. You don't yeah, say, it's burning up. You got that hot sing to my man. Uh, <laughs> I sing to my man. You got hot sing to my man. Why y'all curve Roxy <laughs> question though? <laughs> hmm? Why y'all just curving questions? She asked us. Y'all been asking questions. Show. We don't have <laughs> questions that's directed to us. We but see, we got interesting. People. You were interested. Yeah. First of all, she's hustle girl, and you are the anti-side chick at the mic. Anti side And now that you came her. with them glasses off, oh my god. The first thing the next. Full give it. See, she know not to give motherfuckers the full face. The full one. Until the end, the second half. Even on stage. Even on stage. You wear, you wear uh, glasses on stage too? Absolutely. I never see you perform, so yeah. I'm man. always shaded, right, A1? Don't ask that nigga. He ain't on my show today. Hey, I'm asking. Shout out to A1 Crash. Did she, or, Rob, did she wear uh, shades on her show? Oh, you be late as fuck to the show, so you don't Oh, know. you be missing her shows, <laughs> walking in with like a leg. You can yeah, do it, it's nigga. over. Huh? Did they book you at the Man Cave? Mm -hmm. I think I did see you. I, I performed there. Did they just have a, 
Let us have a moment. Smoke that weed. Let us have a moment. Do it. No, I think that's I think, yeah, I performed there like a few weeks ago. Okay, I was working the I think I do remember. Roxy, try me $100. Yeah, I never charge you ever anywhere you go. Okay. Yeah, you can't charge me anywhere you go. Yeah, you can't charge me anywhere you go. Oh, so you know probably rap. It's like, he booked you for the show? Well, both of them. But by the way, if you guys want to come out on Thursday, let me know. What's on Thursday? I'm at a club in Studio City. I'll be running the door. So, you so talking about Rain? Right? Thursday. Oh, undisclosed Come out on Rain, Thursday. What's it called? Come out Rain. Undisclosed yes. club. Yeah, they keep hitting me up asking me to come back. And hold on, hold on, hold on. Are they promoing our show? Are they promoing our show? I just don't like the fact that there's too many rappers at. Yeah, we're getting that all right. under wraps. We're getting that all under wraps. And especially when I introduce my artist, a lot of things are going to change. Who's your artist? We're not going to talk about that right now. Here we go. <laughs> You're not about to get your artist no plug right now? No plugs? Uh, my artist is plugged. So who is he? Lawrence Benjamin. That's my artist. He got two first names. Okay? He do. Because he's, 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 he's awesome, that's why. Is he got the third type of dude or is he? He is a third. I can tell. When your name is Lawrence Smith, you ain't never the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but he's the greatest, though. He's the greatest? What, what kind of artist? You're protective of your artist. You can tell because she was like, I'm about to mention my artist on this show. Right? Like, no, because I, I want to introduce him summertime, you know. Can we get some music? I am a DJ. And we do have an unusually good amount of people watching the show for, right. what, for what it offers. I could play like a snippet. From my phone? Can no, you no, rap no, some of his lyrics? Can I rap? Can you rap some of his lyrics? Rap. Do you know any of his lyrics? I mean, I do, but I'm not about to rap. Can you give us some good bars of his? Like, like say like a line Like of four, his. give us four bars of his that you were impressed say by. Say a good line of his. She like, he's cool. I don't like his music. I love his music. <laughs> what does he rap about? And we don't even talk about rap. So yeah, what does he rap about? Don't really promo on the show. What does he rap really? about? No, we don't be giving it. Let me tell you something. Let's talk about this real quick. Okay. Because... You, as a businesswoman, okay. I blame uh, Taylor Chanel's manager. I love that she's texting right now because that's exactly who the hell is Taylor Chanel's manager. No, who's your manager? They don't, I don't have a manager. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, bad. And if she did, he wouldn't have told her. He was told her not to come. You feel right. me? Like I like that she is an artist venturing. Mm -hmm. You, as a businesswoman, you supposed to research this show, right? Because let me tell you, <laughs> you were you were say, hey, you guys, not today. <laughs> It's only right to support, fam. No, no, no. We are fans. And you know what? This show is like, just now that you get it, you see But he can like, do everything, though. Like, everything. Okay, so, so is he, is, is, he, is he personable? Like, is he cool? He's dope. I want to bring him on the show. Does he sing? He doesn't sing. He raps. He raps. How old is he? Oh, God, here we go with this shit. We want to know about your artist. He's dirty. Okay, okay. okay. What so bring him on the show. Why you should have brought him today? He, I'm gonna introduce him. I'm not ready to do it just yet. But I'm oh, you getting the full package ready for him? Yeah, I have Respect to. Get, I have I to get it. you know everything put together. For you kind of Irv Gotti ish. She how? is Def Jam. -ish. You know how Irv Gotti used to do his artists like, yo, I'm not ready for you to see it right now. Yo, Jerry, you you know, play, play, play the back job. Play the back job. You know, I used to. Right. I used to tell him to play the back. Then you don't ever bring him out. Is he a tax write off? <laughs> but she thought about it. She said, "She's no. like he is, huh?" But yeah. you're gonna be happy that you know I waited and then brought him. Are you? Are you guys gonna get like? Oh, so we get the first. You get the first. So we don't get him first. We know we calling you and putting that shit. Of course. Okay, as long as you but know. But like what? Huh? What were you gonna say? Like who does he? He's not like Drake, right? Yeah, he's, he's not, not Drake. Drake right? No. Cause I we don't like Drake. Drake. We don't like. I don't care for Drake myself. Oh my oh, god, you're the shit. I and that's Drake. the one light skinned dude that didn't get a pass. I would, ooh, Drake. You fuck with Drake? You like Drake? Drake? That's because they say Drake, Drake, Drake. Drake is Bay. Drake is Bay? Drake is Bay. What is Woe? Light skinned dude that get a pass. What is no. Woe? Why? How? How? Drake's Bay. I thought you like. I thought you like like real no. dudes. I do. That nigga ain't no real dude. Because you got multiple pictures kissing up on basketball players? Different ones. He's the mean king. They kill him. Don't do that. I can't do Drake. Drake do is Drake. a hoe. I don't play Drake records. I don't like Drake. I don't play Drake records. It's first and foremost. I have some. Oh, oh yeah, man. I'll be rocking to it. You're attracted I, to Drake? Like, I love Drake, period. Oh. In general, he's very talented. He's, yeah. he's great. You can't, you can't hate on Drake, man. I, I, oh, no, I, mean, I, know, I respect you know him as an what? artist, but I just don't know. Just, you're just not a fan. I respect it. I respect no, no, have you seen that? Have you seen? Yeah. I, now I've talked about this three shows in a row, but have you seen the Drake meme with him on the pole? He's going with my world. 
I haven't oh. seen that. And <laughs> Instagram, and Instagram and cut. No, because I see too many memes with New York. Why they keep doing her like that? Who? The, the the Instagram memes with New York, where she's sitting on the bed like this. That's New York. Oh, that's New York? That's yeah. New York? Oh, that is? I thought that was, that was a random, like, auntie. That's New York back when she first came out. I thought that was an auntie. Oh, like, that's no, that's New York. I, was trying to figure out I just thought that was somebody else's earlier than that. Sorry. I guess you're right. Yeah. I couldn't that's New York. Right. Wow. Wow. That's New York. So, since we know Roxy's talent, we, so Taylor, we put you on blast around here. When you come to our show, you have to do your talent. And since you're a singer, you gotta sing. So sing something for us, please. Quiet in the building. But wait, if you sing, we don't do no food. Just do like a whatever like a four part bars, you like. Just do the littlest part you like. Ooh, and then Ooh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You can rap too. Yeah, you, you can rap. You can rap. Oh, yeah, man. we got you liquored up. This is now the you want to see you know? moment of the show. Do it, girl. I'm writing you a four-page letter, and I enclose it with a kiss. And when I write you, you better get it on time. Oh, yeah. Bastard. Book somebody we could clown, dude. Yeah. The we know she really had talent. Rob, real time out. Time out from the show. Yo. You know the show's not supposed to be about no shit like that. This, this is too serious. We don't want no talents and people who really do shit. Now you're back quiet. Now you're back quiet. Roxy Fuck. really do shit. What? Yeah. Oh, you thought I was a nothing ass female, huh? No, you thought, no, you no, thought no, I was going to come out and be like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 but I thought you would be a little more self-centered. Really? <laughs> I get that a lot. Why you do you feel that cool, way? Because like, just the, the fair and faucet flip when girls' hair... The fair and faucet flip. <laughs> you know, I get that a lot. People think I'm stuck up, and but I'm, I'm not. Like, I'm not stuck up. Because you know, some of your... Few, you, got that, you got that look. That stuck up look? When you, like... Focus your eyes like that. Like, Maybe because I can't see because I do wear contacts, but <laughs> I'm, really not, I'm really not stuck up. Like, if no, you get to know me, I'm really cool. No, you really are cool. Y'all you know. both are like surprisingly right. cool. Well, I, I didn't know about Roxy. I was like, Taylor's, I don't know. I don't Roxy know. just looks like a independent African American woman that got her stuff together and knows what she wanted sure. like. Period. I do know what I want. Exactly. It's like, like our most serious show. It's like women empowerment. Right, we just got booted on. Oh, all of well, women empowering. Women do that. Not enough women are empowering and no, motivating. I want to no, be a role model, you know. No, they're not. They're so, so they're I mean, I don't knock anything that a female does. I don't knock it at all whatsoever, but I just... Anything. Like, any, I mean, if you wake up at 6 o'clock every morning, you get on the show and you hoe, but you get money every single day, I respect you. However, I'm still going to be like, look, I got a job opportunity, you know what I'm saying? Are you interested <laughs> in that? You know, to better yourself. you make commission off people when you get a new job? It depends on the job. Um, I work for Affleck. No, not right now. You know what I'm saying? Once I get licensed and finally pass my test, then yes. But um, no, I do it just because I want to. That's the last real shit you're going to mention on the show. <laughs> oh, did you say a brand? A brand. Yes, I work for Affleck. Don't fight with me. You know I'm Team Affleck. You can I know. You can see my bio and you can see that. I'm trying to tell you to look out for him and don't mention him on this crap ass show. Uh, yeah. Right. Like, they going to run this shit back there. Uh, like, quality uh, control. Quality control. Even though you know what, uh, we are taking on a sponsor. I think next week. We are. We got a first sponsor. Yeah. Oh shit. I think uh, we're coming with some money. Or nah, I'm coming with alcohol. My nigga. Yeah. We, nigga, we yeah. better. Yeah. I'm like, are y'all sure? They like, dude, it's alcohol. I'm like, Yo, I'm with it. So we'll be having a bottle or something right there. We can drink it, right? We ain't yeah. back in no shit. Can we get it by cases? That's what I'm trying to do with the sponsors. All right, well, fuck it. I'm trying to get If you want to sponsor the Bad and Lay show, uh, you can email Bad. No. Email him. Email Polly Rob at 319 Music Group and Films at gmail.com. And, if you uh, listen to this show and you're not related to me, I don't want you emailing me or contacting me. Unless it's on Instagram. Insta Grizzly, Roxy Two Eyes Frank, <laughs> Miss Double S Taylor, Taylor Chanel. Chanel. Lazy be the Lazy be the great. Hat to the back. I was looking for your shit today. What was Hat to the, the back. Didn't he tell you to change your shit? You got, you got Instagram? No. 
Yes. What is it? Hat to the back or what? Hat. You change your shit. Hat to the back 47. Either it's going to be hat to the back 47 or backdoor diva 47. So you choose. Change your motherfucking name tonight. Okay. Uh, if you don't, you ain't allowed Sade, to play no more. Backdoor Duchess. Backdoor oh, Duchess. You, you need it. one too. You said it. You said it. But as a I didn't get Your default needs to be the entry, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get ratchet on your show today. Damn. It, no, no, no. And you know what? You, it, I it can't even get ratchet. I can't. This dude is so. You should have looked like me with a stripper or like her with a stripper. You know what I'm saying? Like you. Maybe we will next time. Are y'all willing to come back to our no, show? No, you know what? This show usually bring out the ratchet in people. Like we had. Let me tell you. Yeah. On the, we had a show a couple of days ago. Monty Famous, Earl from Earl's Grove. We got it was entrepreneur oh. show. Shout entrepreneur. out to Monty Famous. I love that's her. the homegirl, right? Home girl, that's Bay. So we got we got we had a couple people on here. It was like seven people on here that day, and uh, we were talking about entrepreneurialism, <laughs> uh, making a transition from one industry to another. Right. You know what I mean? Raising your children in an area better than where you were raised, and I don't even know how it switched to. Uh, oh, uh, shit. Anal grease, anal dick uh, sucking with vibrators. Dick sucking with the vibrators in their mouth, which I didn't know nothing about. Which I'm waiting, hello, to get the that glory dinner. hole. Which shit went glory hole shit porn. Went left fast. Oh, it went crazy. So that's it. And then wait, no, no, wait, 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 no. And then after that, hat to the back. Hat to the back. Came. Remember, she uh, she full deep throated one of these I, microphones. Why right, she put mouth. the whole microphone in her mouth? She did put. Uh, and she, she yeah, and she played with it with the <laughs> little. She got a tongue Yeah, she got bars. She got bars. I forgot. She can, That's when she solidified her job here. You know what? I'm like, I can't ask this to I, I, I got a little more story. Anyway, anyway, look. Every so, every now and then, you just look at Taylor Chanel's face and say, "Y'all." She like, whoa. She like, I, I just know three shit. people. Three people I shouldn't have told to watch. That's all she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else is cool. What up, A1? A1 crashing in the building. What's popping, y'all? Crashing. It's it's cloudy in here. Yeah, man. This show is supposed to be on. Right? What time is it? It's supposed to uh, we supposed to be on already. Right uh, oh, well. We got so interested in them. We can talk about what we're going to talk about. Right. We just went off course. Just kidding. We don't never have that. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't. We just, we just introduced. Do. But you know what? Let me tell you. Somebody who listens to especially your music, they're going to be like, yo, I didn't know she's cool as fuck. She's cool as shit. She put up with that shit. Put up with these two crazy niggas? You're going to have a lot of little hip-hop wow. motherfuckers liking your shit now. We got like little bumper heads and Chris Santos fans. Yeah, Santos fans. Hey, it's all good. We need all type of support. Oh, you got all the little MTV answers. She got all the... <laughs> she is politically all correct red carpet everything. answers. Do you get ratchet at all? Like she's ready. She's ready to. I have my little ratchet on when I said I get excited when the ice cream truck still comes. That's not ratchet. That's just I if I, if I would have no. heard an ice, ice cream. cream. Look, if I would have heard any time or type of nursery rhyme just now, and I heard an ice cream truck at ten thirty four p.m., I would have left the show and ran outside. I should tell. I should. He's talking right. about love, like I in think my four the Same <laughs> answers, like you're like, you know, like yeah, take it off. You know, dirty, and she just goes. You know, you gotta, right, keep, you gotta that keep that stuff a mystery. Go from here. I'm, I'm gonna take my shirt off. Now. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. You gotta keep that stuff a mystery. Shout out. Absolutely. You gotta keep you it gotta a mystery. Keep that stuff a mystery. You can't put it all Certain out there. Things need to be a mystery in your life. Guess what? We got imaginations. We already know. <laughs> right. No. They, then again, some shit has been said on this show that I'm not gonna hey. say. I know no more. Yo, I, I don't know what to say anymore. Some shit is just. Amazing. Say please, I'm, I'm, cause I really am uh, ready to go do what my next thing is. I want some uh, mac and cheese. Uh, shout out she to Polly Rob. Polly Rob about to cook. Shout out to Roxy Frank. Shout yeah, out I'm to, going uh, home and go to sleep. Taylor Chanel. I got to work in the uh, I feel like I can bring some pretty interesting people on. Please do. Can you tell me? What you were looking for, what you probably thought you were going to get, you didn't get. Well, Maybe a little that. bit disappointed, but we're at the end of the day. Disappointed, no, no. We're Let me tell you, he's the one. I'm like, that's him. I'm well, disappointed. Again, I, I have like a ratchet homegirl. At the top of my head, I got like five girls that I feel like if you bring them here, you're gonna love me after. Like you're gonna be like, Roxy. okay, we're gonna do Roxy Day. She just told us that her friends are ratchet. That's all. So, I didn't so say Roxy. that. Didn't he say talked that. again. That's twice. Man, be consistent. I didn't say that. I so, just have. Some are they related so look, to you or not? So look, no. 
Okay, so look, next Bring week we ain't got nobody booked for our show. Yes, we do. Oh, we just cooked out whoever. Okay, we kicking out whoever we kick, we had next week. Are we good? Y'all niggas just didn't inform me that we got. Okay, whatever. No, so I can just add on to the show. No, we don't get rid of them. No. Yeah, okay. yeah. Some more. So, so your friends. associates. I'm oh, picky okay. with that word. Okay. I don't have very many friends. I fuck with that. Okay. This is coming across very madamish, but go ahead. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just being real. <laughs> Tell me about these hoes. Yeah, tell me about these hoes. Because that's what they pretty much are. It's going to be interesting. You know what's going to be fucked up? They're going to be so ratchet that we're going to start talking about the most intelligent shit. We're going to talk about all day. Lost. Oh. News, current shit. And every time they don't know something, we're going to make them just strip. We're going to make up shit. Yeah. yeah. So next week, we can get two of them. Yeah. So we got two up next week. We're scratching our God, guests. that's his world. You see what just happened? Yeah. Look at, the, look at his eyes. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I got a new friend. I didn't let her follow me because I didn't want to see uh, one of his posts I put up. Going to sex seconds. But I didn't know she had a boyfriend, so. Yeah, she got a man. And she's not t- accepting applications right now. Yeah, she don't don't she's follow She's focused. Rosie. She's focused. Yeah, damn. You know. Don't follow uh don't follow I'm accepting I'm person. accepting applications and putting them on file. Oh, oh you accept the applications, but you're not currently oh. hiring. What? I'm not hiring, but I'm accepting I'm always accepting the applications. That's funny. So you're just taking over and won't call. Uh Roxy Wallow Grand. Oh, let me see, let me just ask this last thing. Pet peeve or no? What's that? When a dude get your number, he'd be like, call me right now. Oh, oh. Just, for that, I'm gone. just for that, I'm not giving you my I'm, don't call me. No, he, when he tried to call, he's like, oh, shit, I'm going to call you. I right. see why they do that, though, because I ain't going to lie. One time I got caught. <laughs> Gave a nigga wrong number. Gave him the wrong number. Ah! We've all done that. No, you Let's remember, not sit here and act like we haven't done that. You remember the, the fake number, fake number? The yeah. one everybody knew? It was like, this person thinks you are not shit. You remember that, that number? <laughs> you ever seen it? Yo, Rob, you remember that number? Or when you give him the Google number? No, there was a the number half to the back. You know what I'm talking about? It was a number that you can give people. And when you call, it says, this person does never want to talk to you. (laughs) They thought you were disgusting. Upon meeting you, it felt that this was the wrong... Right, was it It was a number. I never got it, but I heard about it. If you feel like killing yourself... Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, that was a setup and voicemail. So Taylor Chanel got caught giving all those out. (laughs) Hey, everybody has. Not just Taylor Chanel. You are the realest. You're the realest. Absolutely. You're the realest. I agree. Uh, yeah, they too real for the show. Rob, Rob. So, ah. shout out to everybody that tuned into the show. Fuck, <laughs> Rob, you just you not even paying attention to the show. All right, so this, this thing is crazy. So I've already got show. messages from artists asking me how they can get on the show. Dumbass artists. Why would you listen to the show and then want to be on it? Well, no. We're not about to talk about your shit. We're about to talk about your personal. They oh, actually talk. comment. Some of them commented and they deleted it, but then they DM me and they wanted to know how they. Can, you, can we see it? No, I don't want to see I no DMs see from no non sexual DMs. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not your theme for the evil shit. Why do you care? It's great. I was like, yo, how can I get on the show? Let's see. It. No, you got to get. It's like punk. You got to get recruited. Why do you care about that? He don't care about nothing that makes sense. They told her, how can I get an interview on your show? So this is your show. She took over. I mean, what can I say? She did start out. You know what? So, you know, you can get interviewed by Roxy when you're ready. You let me know. Yeah, we're going to do a Roxy segment. Roxy, Roxy. Roxy. Roxy's real Wednesdays shit. Wednesdays or something. Roxy's real shit. So then there'll be some shit that actually is real shit. You got to let me interview, like, some artists, like rappers, too. What you going to ask them? All type of stuff. Man, rappers are full of shit. Bullshit, not the ones I know. What, what, what they sing? Rap? No. Rappers is not full of shit, it's called singers. <laughs> Come again? Rappers who are I not full of shit. Are you a rapper? I'm a singer. Okay. Oh, you're not She's full of shit thing. though. You just said different. I said rappers that are not full of shit are called singers. Oh. Uh, why do you feel that way? Because I, I know I managed a label real... for 15 years. Yeah, you made sure he didn't say singers is full Because I was like, come again? No, singers be trying to come from the heart and talk about their life. Rappers embellish on what their life really is about. Mm. They not A rapper trying to tell you his real life, he's going to always put extra on even if he try to tell you the sad part. Not all. Not mine, at least. My oh my God. How many artists do you manage? Uh, just one. I mean, you have to focus on one person. Does he not do non-secular music? Is he a Christian rapper? No, he's <laughs> You know what? <laughs> 
<laughs> he's not a Christian rapper, but he don't have to throw extras on whatever. He's I can't wait about. to hear his rap. I know you can. I can't wait. I'm like, that ain't real. That ain't real. That ain't you. Fifty million bitches in my state. No, no, you know. No, nigga, you got one. Nigga. We'll yeah, we'll let you interview a rapper. Yeah, we'll get it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we'll bro. Bro. It'll be the special bad delay show with the Roxy segment. You can interview whoever the fuck you want. Because sometimes you have people want to talk about their records, which is like, why? Everywhere you go, you're going to talk about your records. No, so I'm here. You see, no. we didn't talk about Taylor album at all. Right. See, we had a genuine thing. We right. said we played the music and he played it at home. When you, out of all, let me tell you, as an artist, it's nothing else for you. It's more important than that. All the bullshit a person tell you when they when they on your show. If a motherfucker say I bumped your shit at home or I fucked to it, that's what that's what 